Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at a version of Windows 10 that has been highly customized to look like Windows XP. This is Windows Freestyle. In the past, we've taken a look at projects such as Project Luna, which actually very well imitated Windows XP and Windows 10. However, I'm a little disappointed that the developers have kind of quit on that. I know because of school and stuff, it's busy um, for them to develop the future of Project Luna, um, especially the Windows 11 version. But I'm very excited here to take a look at Windows Freestyle. I actually saw this in a Michael MJD video, and I want to take a look at it for myself because it just looked so amazing in his videos. Like, it looked amazing. I can't even begin to explain how good it looked. Um, this imitates Windows XP very well. Like, I would be confused if this was XP or Windows 10. I would really be so, so confused if I was put in front of a computer like this. All right, and here we go. So right now you would not actually be able to tell that this is a Windows XP clone, but this is definitely, like, this looks exactly like regular Windows 10, like normal installer, you wouldn't be able to tell. But this, this is something extraordinarily special. We're gonna go ahead and accept the terms, custom, we're installed to that partition, and that's it. Now we'll give it a little bit of time, and I'm sure that we'll be brought into the desktop of this amazing custom OS. And here we are inside of Windows XP, and by that I mean Windows Freestyle. This is actually Windows 10, believe it or not. Take a look around the desktop, try to spot differences, because I can't find any. First thing that comes to mind is that actually highlights blue, but when you drag it, it looks normal. Um, just like little subtle things that people who use Windows a lot would notice, but like normal, like your average person, like look at this start menu. The font is exactly the same. In fact, it even comes with things like Tor Windows XP, like the full, like the, the sound is playing. I'm not sure if I have it set up so you can hear that or not, but the sound, it's playing. It's there. We also have um, Windows Media Player. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. I shouldn't be this far ahead, which um, does actually appear to be um, an older version of Media Player. So it's, it's actually Windows Media Player. Um, the Wizard, which actually looks like it works. Wow, okay. Windows Messenger, which doesn't even work anymore. I'm impressed, like, they, they, they did this. Oh, here's, here's Windows Movie Maker, look at that. I, I am so impressed, and there's MSN. And don't be fooled, guys, this is not Windows XP. This is, in fact, Windows 10. Believe it, because this, this is, this is incredible. So. Let's take a look at the desktop now that we've had a chance to look at some of the pinned apps because that was incredible. We have My Documents, which brings up a Windows XP-like explorer. We have My Computer, which again, Network Places, as well as Notes, which appears to be the, the issues, um, anything like that. So, you know, updates to the OS, whatever, whatever. In the tray, we have all of our typical stuff, including sound, which the sounds are still Windows 10. We have our, right here, our network manager information, um, as well as safely eject, uh, MSN, whatever that was, Bluetooth, VMware, and 7 Plus Taskbar Tweaker. So, and then of course we have Internet Explorer, Outlook, and whatever pinned. So the only two things here we didn't take a look at are Outlook, which this actually appears to be real Outlook Express 6. Oh my god, I'm having so many flashbacks to Windows XP right now. Um, as well as Internet Explorer, which does actually appear to be Mozilla Firefox. The one thing that I want to do just to prove that this actually is Windows X, or not XP, this to prove this is actually Windows 10, um, because all of the Winver stuff, that all says Windows XP, um, as we'll see in a minute. I do want to show you that we can install Google Chrome on this, although for some reason I'm not sure where it's downloading to. Oh, I guess they all just downloaded right here. Okay, opening Chrome, connecting to the internet, and as we all know, Windows XP support for Chrome, you know, that got killed off a long time ago. So we'll, we'll see that this is actually gonna get the latest version. Um, I'm not sure why it's deciding to take 12 minutes to download Google Chrome. We're gonna minimize that and we're gonna wait for that to finish. Um, but yeah, as for your desktop, going to properties, okay, appearance crashes it. Like, all the Windows XP wallpapers are here, all of them. 
settings you have your colors your screen savers which windows xp 64 oh my god this is amazing uh, wow like this this is i i can't even begin to explain how crazy this is we need something like this for windows 7 because honestly that that would just be that would be incredible that would be amazing but anyways moving on from this oh look there's there chrome is installed um, as we can see chrome is actually glitching quite a little bit like the arrow not the arrow theme the luna theme with the windows 10 theme it's not really jiving right uh, but yeah look there's chrome version 110 we can like we said we can see the windows 10 theme break through a little bit so some apps don't really like the illusion um chrome is not one of them but internet explorer is actually firefox i don't remember if i mentioned that so we can actually just use the regular internet explorer and everything will look perfectly fine uh, firefox 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 110 um and again winver stuff so i want to go here type winver uh windows user professional 64-bit edition my computer properties we can see windows not activated but it does say windows xp 64-bit edition so it's identifying itself um the one thing that i do want to do is i wish i want to see what version of like windows 10 this is because i actually don't know but that isn't really helping me right there and i guess that's how you do it so windows enterprise edition 10 1 7 7 6 3 okay so it's an older version so it may not be you know great um in terms of security but it's there you know what i mean like it's it's working um i actually do wonder what would happen if you upgraded this to like windows 10 the newest version in fact i think i might do that um, i'm gonna go ahead and put a windows 10 dvd in here look there's notifications breaking through i i know this is gonna break everything i am just so curious to see what's gonna happen we're not gonna do this in this video i might actually post the results on twitter because i haven't really used uh twitter in a while but uh yeah that's that's this Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here, as do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.